what is what's the difference between the tree on the left the tree on the right and then the tree in the middle okay obviously I would hope you would say color right the contrast in color so what you're looking at is a tree in the middle which is an autumn blaze maple that is a hybrid tree cross between a silver maple and a red maple both silver and red maple will suffer from a um, nutrient uptake deficiency and they have a low tolerance to alkaline soil alkaline soil binds up or holds restricts um, manganese iron that typically promote the growth of chlorophyll in trees other trees um, can tolerate alkaline soil hence why you see the tree to the right and to the left they're perfectly green right now today is Sem September 16th 2022 this is Jamin with Parker Tree Service and today I'm in Longmont Colorado so what we're also doing here are um, injections on these two trees one and two and what I wanted to show you was um, well, one yeah I want to show you a product comparison this is kind of a DIY product right here and this is sold kind of to the masses all right and I want to show you um, ingredients and then the volume or the amount that this product is going to offer people versus what we're doing and before I forget over here is a severe stage of chlorosis and I'm I whenever I talk about chlorosis I usually abstain from the word iron hyphen chlorosis I don't like to put iron in there because people automatically think oh are you telling me I just need to put iron in my soil or, or in my tree? Um, partially yes, but it's it's way more complicated than that. Um, so I, I don't like to say iron chlorosis. Um, but chlorosis just simply means the tree is lacking the ability to produce chlorophyll. And so if you do get up close to those tree leaves, they look very pale yellow. Okay, and now I'm going to come into kind of what we're doing. We're going to compare pr products and specifications. So we're what you're looking at here, right here is a a plug, and that's this is what that plug looks like. This is a patented uh, design. It is whoops. It is slightly barbed around the circumference of this plug. Inside of there, there's a light colored white silicone septum in there because pretty soon we're going to put a giant syringe inside of this plug. I like to call it a receiver plug because it's receiving uh, the large um, um, syringe okay and then this is the comparison and so I'm gonna call this a plug even though they call this like a cap it's okay because it's kind of like a gel cap for consumption you know so when the theory is when this is tapped into a tree that with the vascular flow of water in this tree that that gel cap in here will break down and then the micronutrient that is um, absent in the tree will um, be delivered to the tree um, the issue that I have there is, if you kind of look at this thing, sometimes iron, because iron is in there, you can see the reddish color, it's already starting to oxidize, meaning that, uh, well, it's not fluid, right? And so there's, that's a variable uh, to this kind of equation that we don't know exactly if this product will deliver what it needs to. And then we're going to compare then the amount of fluid, because this one says... Uh, per plug or cap, this is 0 .028 to 19 ounces. I don't know why they have to go that far. Why don't they just say 0 .3? Um, but what that translates to is, if I want to say milliliters, because that's what we're doing, we're injecting, based on a prescription, with 15 milliliters per plug. And when I do the math on this one or convert it, that comes out to about 0.8 per plug. So if you do this DIY project here, um, then yeah, you're getting 0.8 milliliters as opposed to something like this. What we're doing has a, um, this is a dosage changer chamber here. This is 15 milliliters. So that what that means is per plug, we're gonna make that injection uh, three times so that we know that it has 15 milliliters of fluid per plug, okay? so. And then the ingredients on this, and I'll show you here in a second. Okay. 
So what's in here is potable, soluble potash, boron, copper, iron, um, water soluble iron, manganese, which is super important. Okay, and then uh, zinc. So already just by the active ingredients, this has way more uh, micronutrients in here versus the one I just showed you. And then again, you're getting nearly 15 times the dose if you have a professional. Um, uh, basically use this product with this delivery system. This delivery system is called Arbor Jet and particularly ours is called the Quick Jet Air. This is a $2,700 kit and this runs off of 80 PSI means runs I should say it's that's a canister full of pressurized air and this is a regulator that gives us continuous 80 PSI so that when we are injecting this fluid again going through here there's gonna be zero fluid loss out the sides that's what why this is a patent protected technology on this particular product there's no other company that designs this or manufactures this that means the tree will also get per injection site it's going to have a dispersal of that fluid it's going to go multi-directional and then the tree is going to translocate all of this through its own natural process of sending water and nutrients up to the top of the crown of the tree that is called translocation so we're using the plumbing or the science of the tree to deliver this to the extremities um, where it's important the tree needs that. And now I'm gonna show the actual injection. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm gonna go show the actual injection. So it just delivered now five mil. As more fluid gets in there, that we call it a plunger. That plunger is gonna go a little bit slower. Okay. This third one will be even slightly slower. It's not too bad. Okay. So then all we do now is repeat the same process to each and every hole. Okay, and the other thing is not all professionals are the same. Not all professionals will prescribe the same amount. I want to see results and I want to see these trees looking green. And any customer that I have, I want their trees to be green, meaning they're no longer sickly, they would be producing chlorophyll and they will they'll last longer. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm also bypassing the root zone and I am directly injecting trees. So it's a systemic trunk injection then I come to help my own clients with a suggestion on the product for the ground that they can have a kind of a DIY product with uh, how to help the ground release the iron that's already in the ground Nutri root and U-T-R-I-R-O-O-T is a product that I suggest for people especially in the front range of Colorado one where we have a very saline uh, soil two we have the soil texture being heavy clay and then three the the worst part is it's very alkaline okay so nutri root would be a big tip um, for people to get on top of or stay ahead of chlorosis so this tree is not too very chlorotic it's not too bad at all we just want to stay ahead of it because if we don't then what's going to happen is it's going to look like this and then it'll look like that and that'll likely be dead I mean, you can basically say it's it's already dead, um, but it'll be leafless, lifeless, dead next summer. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. I wanted to use this time to break down down the differences between some of the stuff that's just say sold on Amazon, something like that, versus paying a professional that has a f clear holistic understanding of what's going on.